Exploring cup sizes. Hi, Sarah. Can you tell me what sizes Starbucks offers for coffee? Hi, Sarah. Can you tell me what sizes Starbucks offers for coffee? Hey, David. We have three sizes, tall, grande, and venti. Tall is the smallest, followed by grand, and venti is the largest. Hey, David. We have three sizes, tall, grande, and venti. Tall is the smallest, followed by grand, and venti is the largest. Got it. Thanks. And what's the difference in volume between them? Got it. Thanks. And what's the difference in volume between them? Sure thing. A tall is 12 ounces, grande is 16 ounces, and venti can vary depending on the drink, usually 20 or 24 ounces. Sure thing. A tall is 12 ounces, grande is 16 ounces, and venti can vary depending on the drink, usually 20 or 24 ounces. Perfect. Thanks for the info. Perfect. Thanks for the info. Coffee variety. Hello, Emily. What kind of coffee does Starbucks offer? Hello, Emily. What kind of coffee does Starbucks offer? Hey, Michael. Starbucks has a wide variety, from classics like lattes and cappuccinos to specialty drinks like flat whites and macchiatos. Hey, Michael. Starbucks has a wide variety, from classics like lattes and cappuccinos to specialty drinks like flat whites and macchiatos. Sounds delicious. What about non-coffee options? Sounds delicious. What about non-coffee options? They have teas, refreshers, hot chocolates, and even frappuccinos for those who prefer something cold and creamy. They have teas, refreshers, hot chocolates, and even frappuccinos for those who prefer something cold and creamy. Awesome. Thanks for the rundown. Awesome. Thanks for the rundown. Understanding espresso-based drinks. Hi, Maria. Can you explain the difference between an Americano, a macchiato, and a latte? Hi, Maria. Can you explain the difference between an Americano, a macchiato, and a latte? Hey, Alex. Sure thing. An Americano is made by adding hot water to espresso, resulting in a milder flavor compared to straight espresso. Hey, Alex. Sure thing. An Americano is made by adding hot water to espresso, resulting in a milder flavor compared to straight espresso. I see. And what about a macchiato? I see. And what about a macchiato? A macchiato is a shot of espresso stained with a small amount of steamed milk, giving it a bold espresso flavor with just a touch of creaminess. A macchiato is a shot of espresso stained with a small amount of steamed milk, giving it a bold espresso flavor with just a touch of creaminess. Interesting. And how does a latte differ? Interesting. And how does a latte differ? A latte is made with espresso and steamed milk, creating a creamy and smooth texture. It has a higher milk to espresso ratio compared to a macchiato. A latte is made with espresso and steamed milk, creating a creamy and smooth texture. It has a higher milk to espresso ratio compared to a macchiato. Thanks for explaining the differences. Thanks for explaining the differences. Exploring milk-based coffees. Hi, Emily. Can you tell me about the difference between a cappuccino and a mocha? Hi, Emily. Can you tell me about the difference between a cappuccino and a mocha? Hey, Ryan. Of course. A cappuccino is made with equal parts espresso, steamed milk, and frothed milk, resulting in a creamy texture with a strong espresso flavor. Hey, Ryan. Of course. A cappuccino is made with equal parts espresso, steamed milk, and frothed milk, resulting in a creamy texture with a strong espresso flavor. Got it. And what about a mocha? Got it. And what about a mocha? A mocha is a chocolate-flavored coffee drink made with espresso, steamed milk, and chocolate syrup, topped with whipped cream. It's sweeter and richer compared to a cappuccino. A mocha is a chocolate-flavored coffee drink made with espresso, steamed milk, and chocolate syrup, topped with whipped cream. It's sweeter and richer compared to a cappuccino. That sounds delicious. Thanks for the info. That sounds delicious. Thanks for the info. Understanding caffeine options. Hi, Sarah. Can you explain the difference between regular coffee, decaf, and half-calf? Hi, Sarah. Can you explain the difference between regular coffee, 
decaf, and half-calf. Hey, David. Sure thing. Regular coffee or caffeinated coffee contains the full amount of caffeine naturally found in coffee beans. Hey, David. Sure thing. Regular coffee or caffeinated coffee contains the full amount of caffeine naturally found in coffee beans. Got it. And what about decaf? Got it. And what about decaf? Decaf, short for decaffeinated, is coffee that has had most of its caffeine removed. It still contains a small amount of caffeine, but significantly less than regular coffee. Decaf, short for decaffeinated, is coffee that has had most of its caffeine removed. It still contains a small amount of caffeine, but significantly less than regular coffee. Interesting. And how about half-calf? Interesting. And how about half-calf? Half-calf is a blend of regular and decaf coffee, typically made by mixing equal parts of each. It offers a middle ground for those who want to reduce their caffeine intake without going completely decaf. Half-calf is a blend of regular and decaf coffee, typically made by mixing equal parts of each. It offers a middle ground for those who want to reduce their caffeine intake without going completely decaf. Thanks for clearing that up. Thanks for clearing that up. Exploring hot and iced coffee options. Hi, Lisa. Can you tell me about the difference between hot and iced coffee options at Starbucks? Hi, Lisa. Can you tell me about the difference between hot and iced coffee options at Starbucks? Hey, Alex. Sure thing. Hot coffee is brewed using hot water and served warm, while iced coffee is brewed using hot water but served over ice, resulting in a chilled beverage. Hey, Alex. Sure thing. Hot coffee is brewed using hot water and served warm, while iced coffee is brewed using hot water but served over ice, resulting in a chilled beverage. Got it. So are all coffee types available in both hot and iced versions? Got it. So are all coffee types available in both hot and iced versions? Yes, most of our coffee options are available in both hot and iced versions. You can enjoy classics like lattes, Americanos, and even flavored coffees in either hot or iced form. Yes, most of our coffee options are available in both hot and iced versions. You can enjoy classics like lattes, Americanos, and even flavored coffees in either hot or iced form. That's great to know. Are there any differences in preparation between hot and iced coffees? That's great to know. Are there any differences in preparation between hot and iced coffees? The main difference is that iced coffees are brewed at double strength to compensate for the dilution from the ice. This ensures that the flavor remains balanced, even as the ice melts. The main difference is that iced coffees are brewed at double strength to compensate for the dilution from the ice. This ensures that the flavor remains balanced, even as the ice melts. Interesting. Thanks for explaining the differences between hot and iced coffee options. Interesting. Thanks for explaining the differences between hot and iced coffee options. Exploring milk and syrup options. Hi, Emily. Can you walk me through the different types of milk and syrup flavors available at Starbucks? Hi, Emily. Can you walk me through the different types of milk and syrup flavors available at Starbucks? Hey, Daniel, absolutely. For milk options, we offer whole milk, 2% milk, skim milk, soy milk, almond milk, and oat milk. Hey, Daniel, absolutely. For milk options, we offer whole milk, 2% milk, skim milk, soy milk, almond milk, and oat milk. Wow, quite a variety. What about syrup flavors? Wow, quite a variety. What about syrup flavors? We have a wide range of syrup flavors to customize your drink, including classics like vanilla, caramel, and hazelnut, as well as seasonal flavors like pumpkin spice and peppermint. We have a wide range of syrup flavors to customize your drink, including classics like vanilla, caramel, and hazelnut, as well as seasonal flavors like pumpkin spice and peppermint. That's fantastic. Are there any sugar-free syrup options available? That's fantastic. Are there any sugar-free syrup options available? 
Yes, we offer sugar-free versions of many of our syrup flavors, including vanilla, caramel, and cinnamon dolce. Yes, we offer sugar-free versions of many of our syrup flavors, including vanilla, caramel, and cinnamon dolce. Customizing your drink. Hi, Lisa. How can I customize my coffee here? Hi, Lisa. How can I customize my coffee here? Hey, Alex, you can customize almost any drink to your liking. You can choose the type of milk, syrup flavor, and even the number of espresso shots. Hey, Alex, you can customize almost any drink to your liking. You can choose the type of milk, syrup flavor, and even the number of espresso shots. That's great to hear. Is there an extra charge for customizations? That's great to hear. Is there an extra charge for customizations? Some customizations may have an additional cost, like adding extra shots of espresso or premium syrups, but basic customizations like milk choice are usually included. Some customizations may have an additional cost, like adding extra shots of espresso or premium syrups, but basic customizations like milk choice are usually included. Good to know. Thanks for the info. Good to know. Thanks for the info. A morning pick-me-up. Good morning, Sarah. Can I get a grand latte, please? Good morning, Sarah. Can I get a grand latte, please? Of course, John. Would you like that hot or iced? Of course, John. Would you like that hot or iced? Hot, please. And could you make it with almond milk? Hot, please. And could you make it with almond milk? Sure thing. Anything else? Sure thing. Anything else? Actually, can I also add a pump of vanilla syrup? Actually, can I also add a pump of vanilla syrup? Absolutely. Anything else for you? Absolutely. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Thank you. No, that's it. Thank you. All right, your grande almond milk latte with vanilla syrup is coming right up. All right, your grande almond milk latte with vanilla syrup is coming right up. A quick break. Hi there, Emily. What can I get for you today? Hi there, Emily. What can I get for you today? Hey, John. I'll just have a tall Americano, please. Hey, John. I'll just have a tall Americano, please. Sure thing. Would you like that with room for milk? Sure thing. Would you like that with room for milk? No thanks, just black today. No thanks, just black today. Got it. Anything else? Got it. Anything else? Actually, could I also get a croissant heated up? Actually, could I also get a croissant heated up? Of course. Anything to drink with that? Of course. Anything to drink with that? No, just the Americano and croissant, please. No, just the Americano and croissant, please. All right, one tall Americano and a heated croissant coming right up. All right, one tall Americano and a heated croissant coming right up. Catching up over coffee. Hey, Jessica, how's it going? Can I grab a venti caramel macchiato? Hey, Jessica, how's it going? Can I grab a venti caramel macchiato? Hey, David, sure thing, hot or iced today? Hey, David, sure thing, hot or iced today? Iced, please. And can you make that with an extra shot of espresso? Iced, please. And can you make that with an extra shot of espresso? Absolutely. Anything else? Absolutely. Anything else? Hmm. Could you also add some caramel drizzle on top? Hmm. Could you also add some caramel drizzle on top? Of course. Anything to eat with your drink? Of course, anything to eat with your drink? No, thanks. Just the caramel macchiato. No, thanks. Just the caramel macchiato. All right. One venti iced caramel macchiato with an extra shot and caramel drizzle coming right up. All right. One venti iced caramel macchiato with an extra shot and caramel drizzle coming right up. Study session fuel. Hi, Maria. Can I get a grande cold brew, please? Hi, Maria. Can I get a grande cold brew, please? Hi, Michael. Sure thing. Would you like any syrup or milk in that? Hi, Michael. Sure thing. Would you like any syrup or milk in that? 
No, just black, please. No, just black, please. Got it. Anything else? Got it. Anything else? Actually, could you make it a venti instead? Actually, could you make it a venti instead? Sure thing. Anything else for you? Sure thing. Anything else for you? No, that'll be it. No, that'll be it. All right, one venti cold brew coming right up. All right, one venti cold brew coming right up. Midday break. Hi, Lisa, can I get a tall flat white, please? Hi, Lisa, can I get a tall flat white, please? Hey, Alex, sure thing. Would you like that with whole milk? Hey, Alex, sure thing. Would you like that with whole milk? Yes, please. And could you make it extra hot? Yes, please. And could you make it extra hot? Absolutely anything else? Absolutely anything else? Hmm, actually, can I also get a blueberry muffin? Hmm, actually, can I also get a blueberry muffin? Of course, anything to drink with that? Of course, anything to drink with that? No, just the flat white and muffin, thanks. No, just the flat white and muffin, thanks. All right, one tall flat white with whole milk and an extra hot temperature, plus a blueberry muffin coming right up. All right, one tall flat white with whole milk and an extra hot temperature, plus a blueberry muffin coming right up. Afternoon delight. Hi, Sarah. Can I get a grande mocha frappuccino, please? Hi, Sarah. Can I get a grande mocha frappuccino, please? Hey, Daniel. Sure thing. Would you like whipped cream on top? Hey, Daniel. Sure thing. Would you like whipped cream on top? Yes, please. And can you make that with almond milk? Yes, please. And can you make that with almond milk? Absolutely. Anything else? Absolutely. Anything else? Hmm. Could you also add a pump of peppermint syrup? Hmm. Could you also add a pump of peppermint syrup? Of course. Anything to eat with your drink? Of course, anything to eat with your drink? No, just the mocha frappuccino. No, just the mocha frappuccino. All right, one grande mocha frappuccino with almond milk, whipped cream, and a pump of peppermint syrup coming right up. All right, one grande mocha frappuccino with almond milk, whipped cream, and a pump of peppermint syrup coming right up. Creative coffee break. Hi, Emily. Can I get a tall soy latte, please? Hi, Emily. Can I get a tall soy latte, please? Hey, Ryan. Sure thing. Would you like that with any flavor syrup? Hey, Ryan. Sure thing. Would you like that with any flavor syrup? Actually, can I have half vanilla and half caramel syrup? Actually, can I have half vanilla and half caramel syrup? Interesting choice. Anything else? Interesting choice. Anything else? Hmm. Could you also make it with an extra shot of espresso? Hmm. Could you also make it with an extra shot of espresso? Of course. Anything to eat with your latte? Of course. Anything to eat with your latte? No, just the latte. Thanks. No, just the latte. Thanks. All right, one tall soy latte with half vanilla and half caramel syrup, plus an extra shot of espresso, coming right up. All right, one tall soy latte with half vanilla and half caramel syrup, plus an extra shot of espresso, coming right up. Starbucks offers a variety of cup sizes, some of which may not be listed on the menu in certain locations. Customers are encouraged to inquire with the barista who may be able to accommodate specific requests. Starbucks presents an extensive range of both hot and cold coffee beverages, complemented by offerings of tea, refreshers, hot chocolates, and indulgent frappuccinos. Starbucks offers a diverse selection of coffee beverages, ranging from Americano to latte, with varying milk-to-sugar ratios tailored to create distinct and delightful flavors for customers.